it represent the savagery committed against my people for generations. The lost cause apparently is not completely lost, that people are actually wanting to continue to celebrate this hatred. It is amazing in 2015, I'm fighting Robert E. Lee. This is, oh, it's almost hilarious. Now, when we talk about these monuments, there's one thing that everybody's missing. These monuments were all put up during post-reconstruction. There's something that happened in this country during post-reconstruction, and that is there were more black men lynched in this country than ever before in its history in post-reconstruction. That's when they were all put up. We all know that slavery was wrong. Our history is sometimes painful, but it makes us who we are in order to build a better future. We have other monuments to U.S. veterans in this city, the Vietnam Veterans Memorial by the Superdome. We don't think that should be taken down either because it might offend some Vietnamese Americans. Or we don't think Andrew Jackson should come down because he enslaved I'm, I'm people sorry. or massacred Indians. The cost for removing these monuments, I have a, a quote here from a contractor, uh, removing just the monuments, not the foundations, and storing them for a single month would be $1,009,697 at least that wouldn't include any foundations, that wouldn't include relocation to a permanent location. This would just be for disassembling the monuments and storing them for a single month. Historical markers should do three things. First and foremost, they should tell the truth. Secondly, they should represent common values and principles that uplift a community. And if a, a marker commemorates a tragedy or a historic wrong, it should tell truth, explain context, and deplore the false values of the past. The New Orleans Confederate monuments do none of these three things.